lose interest in things so quickly these days. The treasured items of yesterday are simply tossed out and forgotten. An old puppet, for example. But does it really matter? Puppets aren't real. They don't feel emotion or experience pain. Or do they? People of Immortal, the hour is late and the time draws near. That's right. It's time to choose our next winner. And the lucky number is... 11. 11? Don't be shy. Come on down. And now... Here's your prize. Please, I'll do anything you want. Just let me go. <laughs> Woo! Hello, everyone. I'm your Gibbs, and we are going to be playing Puppet Show. This is the seventh in the series, if you can imagine that. Seven Puppet Show games. This one is called The Price of Immortality. And uh, I played the beta for this, and it has a cool theme to it. I loved it. I've had kind of hit and miss with Puppet Show, to be honest with you, but Puppet Show really started it for me in terms of uh, hidden object games on this channel. So I always have a soft spot for the Puppet Show games, regardless. Now, you'll notice here that I've already got my Gibbs set up, but, but I always use your Gibbs, so what's up with that? Well, first Hide of all, your face. Don't show it to anyone. <laughs> I want to play with the puppet first. Well, we should really make a new player, I think. And we want to have the your Gibbs, right? All right, so here's why. You'll notice that we can choose male or female. Look at the male uh, characters here. Uh, I'm not too keen on him. He's a little too dashing. Uh, well, they actually... His blue eyes are a little too piercing. I, I don't know. I don't like his facial hair, but maybe one of you folks out there think that uh, this guy in the middle is the best. But I'm actually going to switch over to the ladies. And uh, I actually like all these ladies, to be honest with you. <laughs> I, I don't even know which one to pick. But I'm going to go with our uh, ponytail lady here. So I do like the color blue. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Now we can make a proper profile. There we go. So there we go. We have genders in this game. And from what I can tell, it's, uh, it has to do with the voiceover. So that's kind of cool that they would put that extra uh, you know, choice, if you will, at the very beginning. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's play. I'm super excited, if you can tell. So we've got casual. I like how they show uh, everything all up in front here. We can actually just uh, sort of adjust the casual right here and there. So. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and do cash. Oh look, cursor penalty zero. Yay! I'm heading to Immortal to find my friend Enrique. That letter he sent me has me worried. My friend, I've been investigating the journalists who disappeared from the town of Immortal, but I'm afraid I'm next. Come quickly. Find Helen. She's trustworthy, but stay away from the theater of emotions. Sincerely, Enrique Torres. Immortal is bathed in rumors of disappearances, all centering around the mysterious theater of emotions. Every journalist who has investigated it has never returned. What's that? Well, Enrique did say Immortal was famous for its puppets. Next stop... Immortal. <laughs> Yay. All right, we're going to go ahead and accept the interactive help. Sure, why not? There's something off about this town, and I have a feeling Enrique got too close to it. 
So you can see up here it's got my portrait and obviously the lady voice. So uh, from what I gather when you accept the male choice and whatever portrait you accept will be there and then you'll obviously have a male voiceover. That's kind of crazy if you think about that, that they would go through the effort of recording all of the dialogue for the main character in both male and female voices. That's pretty neat. Wait one moment. All visitors to Immortal must show proper identification. What? A journalist, you say? Where's your press pass? Keep track of all your tasks. We got tasks here and tasks there. Find Enrique Torres. Chris will change you and deny when you can zoom. When your cursor changes to a hand, you can take it with you. Open it. Your Gibbs is on my luggage. <laughs> I have your Gibbs luggage. I don't know why that excites me, but it does. I'm easily entertained. Let's go ahead and see what's inside here. Ooh, press pass. Oh, see, this is nice. Look, your Gibbs luggage, your Gibbs press pass. That is such a minor detail, but it's so neat. And I like that this portrait's changed too. I'm assuming if I pick somebody else, my portrait here would be different. So neat. Oh no, my zipper has been. The pole is missing. A photo of Enrique. I'll unpack after finding a place to stay. Oh, what's with the dolly? Oh, the dolly has a map. This poor doll is missing an eye. So I'm not entirely sure what uh, collectibles are in here, but let's get through the tutorial first. Now, what's the purpose of your visit? Um, Enrique Torres? Never heard of him. If you have a photo, I suppose I could post it around town. So. We have a hint here now. I don't think I need hint though, because I have my uh, photo right here. I'll keep an eye out for him, but you're just wasting your time. I see everyone who comes in and out here. You're welcome to look around though. But if you do, you need to find a place to stay right now. Curfew starts in 10 minutes. It's required for everyone. It's not safe at night. Move between locations by selecting an area, and your cursor will become a navigational area. Arrow, arrow. Yeah, folks, I play the uh, full game when the full game comes out because if you just sort of assume that the beta is going to be the same, you're kind of making a big assumption. I mean, for one, the collectibles are not in beta, so that's why I replay the whole game. And, you know, honestly, if the game deserves it, I think we should play the whole game from start to finish, you know, and share my experiences with it. Oh wow, check this paper out. Looking for a great job opportunity? Auditions will be held in the Theatre of Emotions, Sunday at 10pm. Show us your skills. We're also seeking playwrights for the Theatre of Emotions. Speak to the mayor in Town Hall for more information. There is definitely something magical about this magic paper. It's magic! So what do I got here? Uh, I got a hairpin. That's handy or something. So what does he want? I guess... I don't know. Let's go forward then. What do I have? I have my wallet. Oh yeah. Oh, but my zipper pull will work. There we go. Franks! Two out of four Franks. There's a lot of bumblebees over here. Okay, so let's go to... Oh, the bear! Oh! <laughs> Look at this thing. Whoa, whoa, I forgot about that! Warning shots fired. I don't know who you are, but you saved my life. Thank you. You sure did. <sighs> Looks like I'm just in time. You don't know me, but Enrique showed me your photo. You're his friend from Paris, right? The name's Helen. Nice to meet you. Hide your face. Don't show it to anyone. That's what she says in the main menu. It's a puppet. 
Oh no! <laughs> she got hurt trying to help me. This is crazy. Free Helen from the Jester Puppet. Wow, this is so neat. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's. Oh, hello there. I'll take that broken arrow. It's too dark to see. What am I gonna do here? Let me out, you stupid tin pan! <laughs> Hi! Ah, ah, ah. Not so fast. First, you have to play my shell game. Win. And maybe I'll release her. Look at the ants over here. I'm so distracted here, Jester Puppet. <laughs> Four francs. He's sticking his tongue out of him. <laughs> what a ripoff. <laughs> nice. Hello there. Shh. Do you want to get us both caught? If you repair the doll in the train station, she'll help you. And steer clear of that Jester doll. He works for them. Who's them? The people in this town are hiding something. But what? They sure are. So let's go this way. Something's clogging the spout. Ooh, hello, diamond. Or gemstone. Put you there. It looks like I'm gonna need to come back here for some fresh water. Let's see what's inside here. Oh. Oh. We can glue our map together. Alright, cool. I love when they make the user interface an element of the game itself. Like that case, we could fix the map and now it's over there. It's so neat. Oh, we can fix the little puppet. Whoa, bear! Watch out! It's gone mad! Back off, you brute! Oh my goodness! There! Don't come back. <laughs> what the heck was that? I don't believe my eyes. He fought that bear and won. Well, wild animals have been wandering into town at night. Here, my shift's almost over and you look exhausted from traveling. I'll carry your suitcase to the hotel for you. Why, thank you, good sir. We're not going to talk about that whole bear attack. We're just going to ignore that that happened. That was kind of him. Perhaps a little too kind. <laughs> Foreshadowing. All right, little dolly. It it's alive. <gasps> Look at how adorable this thing is. Thank you so much for fixing me. Immortal has always been famous for creating dolls like me, but lately the townspeople have been destroying us, and that's not the worst part. What is the worst part? They're hurting humans, too. Last night, I saw someone beaten to death on the stage. Can I come with you? Please? I promise I won't be a bother. I can fit into tiny spaces and even yes. light up dark places for you. Yes! Double yes! A helper that can light things up and go into little places? Ah! You're hired! Climb aboard! We got our first achievement! Yay! Ooh, look! Puppet Show Master, the idea of creating a talking doll came to Thomas Edison in 1877. Oh, a little bit of uh, learning here. Come with me, a little pup. Oh, look at the animation of this thing! She's just gonna spark her butt right there in the interface. Love it. Hey, who's inside here? Listen, your friend is in danger, but you can save him if you hurry. But first, please help Helen. Looks like I won't be getting back to Paris anytime soon. Yeah. Three out of four francs. Okay, little little buddy. Go in there and get the bicycle thing. <laughs> Their headlamp is... Wow. Like, look at the physics on the hair, too. Amazing animation. That is incredible. And I just love how she hops back up on the interface bar. That's so neat. Oh, we still need to get half of that. Okay, well, uh, you know what? I remember there was a little spot in here for you to go take a peek at. What's in here? 
What an unusual doll. I'll add it to my collection. <gasps> you found one of the master's favorite dolls. You can not only collect them, but improve them as well. Alright, see, I don't think this dollhouse was in the data. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Look at the tokens we gotta gather. I don't remember, but I could be wrong. Let's see, so we have the rest of that, so let's go back here and put that there. Got himself a purse. Uh, sure. What's with the money? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Two of those. Good, good, good. Alright, let's go save Helen. There's so much happening here, it's only 15 minutes into the game. Save the girl! Helen, I'm coming for you! Oh, she's over here. Oh. Human-sized... ...puzzle here. <laughs> this is cool. I still can't get over those ants. <laughs> I'm easily amused, obviously. No, oh my gosh! Oh, I could've switched it to hard mode. Oh well. I'm good, I'm good. Back and forth we go. I wonder if this is random or is it the same sequence all the time. Hello, Helen. Thanks. I thought I was a goner. Speaking of goners, today is my last chance to save Enrique. You see, the Theater of Emotions is tonight. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? Helen saved my life. It's time I repaid that favor. That was the jester's arm. What's going on? He just popped off and took her. Well, let's keep on... Um, oh, look, more bumblebees. Let's go forward. Hi there. Snip, snip, snip. Okay. Uh... Oh no! This was my friend Sybil. Look, they stole her whole hand! Why would someone do this? I know it seems hard to imagine, but our town used to be so friendly. Oh, I feel bad for the puppet, missing an arm like that. Wow, that scissor noise is kind of creepy. <laughs> oh, I'll take this. Okay, I used to have this toy when I was little. We'll put that ladder in her back pocket. That's the prison. I don't recommend staying there overnight. Okay, fair enough. Those eyes, could this be the poster of Enrique? I've got to restore it. It could have a clue. Let's go inside. Hello. We're gonna roll up the carpet, are we? Puppet masks. It's a little tiny door. Go, girl, go. I'm gonna call her Veronica. Just the right size for you, isn't it? Huh. Hello, mister. What? A journalist? Don't worry. I have it under control. Welcome, traveler. Don't be so surprised by my appearance. You see, I'm taking part in tonight's performance. I've simply donned my mask to get into character. Please, may I see your ID? Who's this? Come on, folks. Come on, Puppet Show fans. Who is this here? You'll find your suitcase in your room. I've just put the kettle on, if you'd like a cup of tea. Thank you. Room number one. It seems everyone around here is fond of masks. I have a feeling they don't just wear them for show. Please, those are the personal belongings of our guests. <laughs> Kindly <laughs> respect their privacy. Whoops, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to poke and prod and touch the other guest stuff. Hey, 
Hey, somebody's been rifling through my things. <laughs> oh, look, it's a puppet arm. Ooh, shadow of a puppet. Please let that be just another puppet. All right, folks, we're out of time, but we'll be back for more puppet show. I think you might be able to tell. I'm kind of excited about this game. Anyways, let me know what you think of the game so far. I always love to read your comments down below. This is Puppet Show, <laughs> number seven, and I'm your Gibbs.